So before turning style, I first want to show you what my under eyes look like currently so that we can see if there's going to be any visible improvements throughout this week. Now, I am actually using tretinoin on a 0.025%, so it's actually quite high. And I have to say, I also do apply the under eyes. So they definitely need a lot of moisture and they can get quite cracky and dry. We're also in the winter in the UK, so I definitely need added hydration. I have to admit, I don't have many crow's feet or wrinkles under the eyes because I have Botox and also I'm 21. But I definitely want to see if this actually has that potential of anti-aging. Oh, okay, so it's definitely very thick. The consistency is quite silicony and it is spreading quite nicely on the under eye. It does feel moisturizing as well, the tiniest amount. You know what, guys? Maybe it's looking also a little bit brightening. Like, isn't this under eye brighter than this? To be honest, it doesn't smell like anything. Maybe just the tiniest amount like Centella Asiatica, but don't quote me on that. But I also want to read the claims that Ionique is making so that we can better understand what we should expect throughout this week. So it actually says, Benton Fermentation Eye Cream is a premium eye cream containing Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate, Bifida Ferment Lysate, S. Oligopeptide 1, and Ceramides. I'm already blown away by these ingredients. They are all amazing. This eye cream helps to achieve smooth and useful eye areas. Dermatologically tested. Oh my god, okay? Benton, come out actually through, come literally through, destroy me and my pussy. Okay, let's move on. It's day two. I want to read the ingredients, you guys. Of course, I'm not going to read you the full ingredients because ain't nobody got time, but I'm definitely going to tell you the main things that you should know and if there's anything bad that you should be aware of. So the first ingredient is actually Gamactocytes Ferment Filtrate. Funny enough, SK2, the famous like Korean brand, is actually built all on this ingredient, which is actually very good, but those are all overpriced. This is actually a little bit cheaper than that, so this could arguably be a dupe. We'll have to see about that. But anyways, Galactomize can be great for skin barrier health, so it's going to strengthen in our skin barrier, prevent transepidermal water loss. It also has great antioxidant properties, so kind of prevent your skin from damage from free radicals and protect your collagen, if, and so it's anti-aging as well. It also is hydrating and brightening for the skin, so applied into the eyes, we can already see all the benefits that we're going to have from that. I am amazed. Then there's actually going to be Bifida Ferment Lysate A Probiotic. Uh, now, I know this is a probiotic, but I didn't necessarily know specifically this one, so I looked it up. This might actually have some protection from UVA properties, so kind of like what sunscreen would do for you, but this is not to be replaced with your sunscreen. It's not going to do that at all. And it can also, again, help protect the skin barrier and decrease skin sensitivity. It is very soothing, so it's definitely a very nice ingredient, again, to have in an eye cream. And then there's actually going to be an ingredient that I'm very excited for, which is actually RH Oligopeptide 1. This is basically an epidermal growth factor. Like, there is a wave in some studies that might suggest that they can cause cancer, specifically to people who are prone to having skin cancer, so I would maybe pay a little attention from this, but basically they're actually very beneficial for anti-aging because they're small proteins that basically signal your cells to basically regenerate and reproduce. So they stimulate new collagen production, elastin production, they're very anti-aging, wound healing. Then there's going to be ceramide NP. Ceramides are one of the biggest building blocks in our skin. CeraV is literally built on these ceramides, but they're amazing because they really are beneficial for strengthening your skin barrier, which again leads to less transepidermal water loss, so more retaining moisture, a better just overall functioning skin. Sodium hyaluronate, a hyaluronic acid, very standard it actually has plumping effects at the skin so arguably having it in an eye cream it would be nice because it could plump it up just the slightest amount to your under eye and then actually reduce the appearance of violence and wrinkles and that is going to be arginine which is one of the 20 essential amino acids so amino acids kind of like ceramides they basically are a building block of our skin and they really do kind of the same thing they work hand in hand this ingredient list is amazing benton i am truly shocked honey i would need this in a moisturizer to apply all over my face i don't think i could limit this to have this only in my eyes, okay? I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need, what I'm gonna need you to do is ship me a full entire container because I wanna bathe in this every night. That's what we need to do. It's day five. I have to say, I am shocked. This is amazing. My under eye feels amazing. And so ultimately, now I have my final thoughts and results, and I'm gonna tell you if it's worth spending your money on this or not. So make sure you keep watching. And so now I have my final thoughts. And so actually I have my final thoughts. And so actually, and so actually I have my final thoughts and results and some things that you need to know that are going to be very useful if you want to buy this. So make sure you keep watching to see if it's worth spending your money on this or not. Benton, honey, you saved me. You saved me from a slow, agonizing death. Because I have to say, before I met you, I sometimes found myself actually quite often picturing myself in my deathbed, thinking about my life. My life flashing before my eyes 
guys and really I didn't see much it was quite empty sure money fame that's nice but without love what is the point of life so I was really just on my deathbed and I was just sad sure the press was there and you know how much I love press I really do I love press but it was such a cold relief until I found you. Now surely you might be thinking, Mateo, are you aware that this is an inanimate object? It can't love you truly. And I would say, yes, I am aware, thank you. But it can surely show appreciation and reduction of wrinkles. And truly, isn't that what life is all about? Looking pretty as much as you can? Just as I always say that an untelevised life is not worth living, truly same applies for the wrinkles. A wrinkled life is not worth living. I just don't know how normal people do it like living behind the cameras not having press <laughs> Press. I love press. Normal people are just so brave. Ooh. Oh my god, I could never. I could never. And the thing to really complete your life is gonna be this. This ingredient list is amazing. You have seen in the vlogs, I was shook to my pants. I'm already very similar to a dog in many ways. I like to stay on all fours. I like a good choker. And this brought me even closer because I pissed myself for how excited I was. Okay, let's move on. Consistency is amazing. It is super moisturizing and also, again, quite silicony to the feel. It, it just is smoothing to the under eye. I feel like it does brighten your skin as you immediately apply it. And I'm sure that if you're gonna keep on using this, it is also gonna br just overall brighten it completely like the skin. It's gonna make it more glowier. And it's also gonna just reduce the appearance immediately of the fine lines thanks to the hyaluronic acid. Truly chow, big boobs. Big, humongous boobs. Big boobs? Oops. What? Honestly, I often say on this channel that eye creams are not the kind of tea for me. Just because most brands literally take their moisturizer, repackage it in a smaller box, jack up the prices, slap an eye cream name on the bottle, and call it a day. You might as well just buy the moisturizer version and save your coins and get even more product out of it. Truly Benton ain't nothing like that. Actually, Benton doesn't even have a moisturizer with this ingredient list. I wish you would, honey, because this eye cream is amazing. When you apply this for the first time, time you will know ah oh, these are the moments in life that are worth living <sighs> these are the moments that make life worth living before this, I was not living life at my fullest, just like as the first time you would try sex. If the sex was good, which honestly the first time ain't never good, but if you keep it going at it and trying and trying, after a while, you's gonna be thinking, how was I living life without that dick? How was I? We don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. That's the fuck of it all. But I do know something's gonna happen and I do know it's gonna be big. Same applies with this. How was you living life? How are you living life without this if you haven't tried it yet? Furthermore, apart from the galactomyces, the most interesting ingredient in this for me, and that actually is worth buying, I think, is the RH oligopeptide 1. Or you can also see it more commonly called as epidermal growth factor or EGF. And actually there are many serums now in this market that offer this growth factor serum. Like for example, like really cheap ones as well. Like for example, the Revolution skincare. But I want to say I'm not sure about this, so don't quote me for as if it's true. Some brands like to call it Epidermal Growth Factor or slap the name EGF on their serum, but it's actually not the RH Oligopeptide 1. It's actually a growth factor that is derived from plants. There are many growth factors. This one is just one of them. Plant-derived growth factors, they don't have much research that they actually work on us because they're growth factors, but for plants. And that doesn't necessarily translate to animals let alone to us humans. So there really there is not a lot of research on plant-derived EGFs. And usually these cheap serums that do have EGFs in them are most likely going to be plant-derived. So not necessarily it's going to be effective. So I would say usually it's best to go for the more expensive side. There are many serums with EGFs that are more expensive that do actually work because keep in mind that this specifically RH oligopeptide 1 is naturally derived in our body. We have it ourselves. However, as always, we we also have ceramides, we also have hyaluronic acid, we also have collagen. But 
but it's nice to supplement them. It's nice to replenish them so to get even more anti-aging and benefits from them. So it's good to implement a growth factor in your routine, but specifically the ones that are going to work for us humans, they're going to be quite expensive because of the way that they are sourced. So I do want to think that even though this is more to the cheap side, it is still going to be very much effective and going to work. Now with growth factors, I want to stress this. There are multiple studies showing the efficacy of these, but again, I want to stress it might also be possible that this can trigger skin cancer in you, especially if you are prone to developing it. I will know how to know if I'm prone to developing skin cancer, so I would say just use it very cautiously, very sparingly. Moving on to the results that I have seen in this week, keep in mind it has only been a week, so we can't really see the full effect of this. It would take like three to four weeks to even see a slight difference. I want to say when it comes to anti-aging, reduction of wrinkles, even though I'm quite young and I also have Botox on top of that, I do say I really see a lot of potential in this. So if you are more mature and you want to give like spice up your skincare, you're already using retinol eye creams, you're already using all those anti-aging peptides, you want to go even a step further, I would say definitely get yourself this because it really does seem very promising. For the things that I can personally witness on, hydration, definitely uh, my under eye is more hydrated. I use tretinoin and my skin, as I said, is very dried up and this has definitely helped. As far as skin brightening goes, because this is also supposed to brighten your skin, thing to the galactomyces. I want to say I don't have many under eyes, dark circles, or bags, but for some reason, as soon as I apply this, my eye does appear brighter and more hydrated and more reflecting of light, so that is going to in turn make your under eyes appear like more luminous. So honestly, the research is here, the consistency is here, the ingredient list is here, the results are also here. This is a 10 out of 10, amazing. My life has changed completely. I will hook all my family on this as well. You need to buy it. So allow me to tell you where I actually bought this from. Of course, it's going to be online because you know that your girl never steps the side of the house. Honestly, it is just so dangerous these days, especially with everything that is going on outside. Like, you know, for example, the the sun, of course, and also the virus. That's just a minor detail. That is truly too aging, and I am not willing to risk that. So I bought this on Amazon. This is going to run you $21.99 raw British pounds for 30 ml. I have to say, once again, this is truly going to last you like months on end like three months, four months, and you know the girl always goes to car with. I actually found the cheapest one link that I could find on Amazon US and Amazon UK. I'll link it down below in the pinned comments for you to go buy it. So if you want to support this channel and me, make sure to click that link down below. But you know that we love to have options and bargains on this very here channel, so I'm also going to recommend you Yesta, which is a Korean website. The shipping times are a little bit longer, but they sometimes are cheaper, the products. And so on Yesta, this is in fact going to be 11.12 Royal British Pounds. This is currently 60% off because there's so many sales going on all the time. And so once again, girl, I got you covered. I linked a link to this product down below in the pinned comment as well as you can use my code, which is actually code randoms at checkout to get money off your whole entire purchase. And once again, you're saving money. You're also supporting the channel. I will love if you did. Anyways, man, this was the first video that you saw mine. Ooh, let me put this up because I don't want to show you my boobs. Um, if this was the first video that you saw mine, my maybe interested in the Jordan family. All you have to do is literally subscribe to the bell icon so you don't miss any more uploads. We're all about fighting acne, wrinkles, fine lines clearly from this video and just having a lot of fun and this sounds like your thing, make sure you join because I would love to have you here. Mwah. You can also, of course, follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok. Do not hesitate because truly there's a lot more skincare that you won't see here that you are going to see there and we can just further on deepen the bond that I feel going between us two. I see you, honey, and you see me. So see me there as well. And now to my randoms who are still watching, you know what time of the video is now. It's time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was truly all about my newfound love, my soulmate for life, this Benton Fermentation Eye Cream, the Italian word of the video is going to be Fermentazione, which is fermentation in English. Excuse me ma'am, what do you think you're doing? You're not gonna cut this video. What you need to do is click whatever of these two videos right here. Just as informative, entertainment, whatever this video is you will provide doing that. Remember to random and always random. I swear click one of these two or not only will you age and get wrinkly because you will not have this, but you will never find your true love. And if you already have it, don't think that you're safe because he or she, they're gonna leave you if you don't click one of these two. So click.